Hello, and welcome to the CCNA Routing and Switching course offered by Simply Learn. The previous lesson focused on network architectures, wireless, and troubleshooting. This lesson introduces you to routing concepts and configuration. Let us begin with the objectives of the lesson in the next slide. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to explain how a router determines the best path, configure static routes, floating static routes, and default routes. Describe general characteristics of routing protocols. List the common administrative distances. Explain the methods of packet forwarding used in Cisco devices. Let us discuss routing in the next slide. Look at the output of the show IP route command. This command displays the routing table of the router. Two classful networks can be seen in the routing table. The 25.0.0.0/30 and the 10.0.0.0/24 network. The routing table is organized by classful network even if variable length subnet mask VLSM is used. There are 3 routes in the routing table. The first route 25.25.25.0 is directly connected to Fast Ethernet 1.0 because 25.25.25.0 does not have a different prefix length specified. It uses the prefix length of the classful network. So its prefix length is slash 30. The C to the left of the route shows that it is a directly connected network and is directly connected in the entry. The interface is the outgoing interface to get to a destination that is in the 25.25.25.0/30 subnet. In this case, the outgoing interface is FA10. Now we have two routes under the 10 network. These are 10.1.13.0/24, which has an outgoing interface of FA00, and 10.1.23.0/24 which has an outgoing interface of FA01. Note there is no route to the network 10.1.12.0/24 in the routing table. Without static or dynamic routing, RTR3 does not know how to get to a destination in that network. Let us discuss next hop, a routing term in the next slide. Each routing source is assigned a number from 0 to 255. That rates how trustworthy it is. The table on the slide shows the default administrative distance for routing protocols. Take some time to study it. We have discussed.